I'm not too interested in this match, but what do you guys have to think about Sheamus versus Randy Orton? And that answers that question. Moving on to the next segment. <laughs> really? I mean, like, does anybody have anything that they're interested with this? And that, not just from, like, the point of view that I have, where it's like, Sheamus is fucking bland and I don't want to see that, but even if it wasn't Sheamus, like, Orton's not doing anything for me right now either, and this feud in general is just... I didn't feel like watching it last time. It was better than I thought it was going to be. I'll admit it. But a sequel match? Especially at, like, SummerSlam, like, they could have done something better. What they could have done, done something it? better, but, you know, you don't have to hit a out of the park with every single thing. Again, I'm going to say the same thing I said last one. I think they're going to have a good match. It'll be an exhibition that'll fill some time on the card, get both of these guys on there. It, it, not every single match on there has to have a shit ton of stuff. I mean, hell, there was a period of time where only the main event had something going on for it. Every single match was just a dud. I mean, these are two main event caliber players they got in the ring right now, so I'm going to be looking forward to the match for the sole purpose of I like these two, and Tony is a pheasant winker for not paying attention to this match. You mean a wank pheasant? In other words, you should not go to spark out moment for this match because there will be no commentary on it at all. Yeah, that's if there's going to be one match on the card that I space out on, it's definitely going to be this one. Sure, tool wink pheasant. A lot of hostility from Drew tonight. I think we might have to <laughs> do know. the. I have uh, no idea what happened, dude. I know. We Usually might have to do just... the fuck Drew outro. <laughs> No, 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 no. We don't have to do that, Tony. I mean, come on. <laughs> glory, glory, outro. Come on. You know that. So, Peyton, do you want to talk about Money in the Bank, or do you want to bring that up later? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Anybody have any thoughts on Sheamus, like, losing this match and then cashing in? I, a part of me wants to believe something like that will happen, but I don't know if they're going to be pulling the trigger on that quite soon because uh, it's I just don't think they will you know I'd rather see Seth Rollins getting a statue of himself than Sheamus ruining that so I think Sheamus will win the match so Vega any last thoughts on Sheamus and Orton yeah pretty much thumbs that up Payton any other thoughts Really want some ice cream. Oh, I, kind. I have some birthday cake and chocolate ice cream in the freezer. Vanilla soft yeah. serve would be awesome right now. Why do you say it like that in the freezer? Because I can. Because he's a valley it's girl. Your boy, I'm so cool. He's making copies. I'm as cool as a freezer. Yeah. Tony in the site. No, I think we got. Uh, I want to see where uh, Drew can go with this. Uh, Drew just dropped from the call anyway. <laughs> yeah, fuck that kid. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Shame is an Orton. Yeah, blah. It's kind of the downer of the night, but we have something much, much cooler in the next part. So stay tuned for part nine.